Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild. Today we're going to look at the miniature expansion for Scythe, Scythe Encounters. This is a game published by Stonemeyer Games and designed by Jamie Stegmeyer. So let's go ahead down to the table here. I'm going to tell you what comes with this expansion. We'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Alright, so this is the Scythe Encounters expansion, and you're basically going to get, or you are going to get, 32 new uh, encounter cards with this expansion. And they're really, really nice, and they add more variety to the different encounter spots that you can set your leader on in the game itself. I like the art that the cards add, and all the different options. The option names are really cool because they add a lot of different flavor to the game and they are pretty fun to read out loud and determine which one you want to do uh, with the good, the bad, or the mediocre action. So that adds a lot of fun. Now one thing I want to mention in this expansion, you do have a new mechanic which is going to be a secret option. And some of the cards, you see the red lettering on it, will let you do a secret action. And all of them are a little different. You leave them face down until something happens. So this one, you don't do anything until the end of the game and then for each farm you control you'll gain three money and that'll give you more points at the end of the game so this is really cool and there's all different ones some of them teleport you to different areas in the game some of them will give you uh, more resources or whatnot when they get flipped when certain things happen and again the art is amazing on these cards so that still delivers in fact i like the art on these ones and some of the different things you can pick from more than the base ones even though they're really awesome too now when you play with these you can either uh, just play with these 32 new ones if you want in place of the original encounter cards or you can shuffle them into the existing encounter cards and just have uh, that going but for me, I just shuffle them into the existing and just have fun with the wide variety of encounter cards that you can get. So that was Scythe Encounters Expansion. Let's go ahead back up to the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts on this mini expansion. So Scythe Encounters is a great little expansion. It does what I like expansions to do. It just adds more of the good stuff for the game. I love the encounter cards inside. It's one of my favorite things. I love the art, and I love how the text gives you choices and it makes you draw you into the theme of the game. It's very thematic, the encounter cards are, and this is no exception. This adds more. I love the little secret objectives that are in here, so you can put, obviously they know that if you're not, uh, going to take one of the actions on there that they know you have a secret objective so they're wondering what's going to happen a lot of fun the art is amazing on here again uh, same great quality as you would always expect with the scythe line and stonemeyer games so if you have scythe i highly recommend picking up scythe encounters it just makes the game better it doesn't add any more complexity the secret uh a rule on the on the cards is in it says written red bold it's super easy so there's nothing no additional complexity uh no additional time to the game or anything like this is a very very good expansion so that's my thoughts on scythe encounters thank you for watching